she got a cat. Cat like is musically inclined as well. This is the first one that I started when I was 13. And it says, my life, my career, my, my dream, my reality. Do the right thing. Do the good thing. And obviously I'm not a perfect person by any stretch. No one is overall, the main thing that I always tried to be was, um, like, just, like a good girl. I am happy. Look at Sydney. Jesus Christmas. I became the person who everyone wanted me to be. Which is tough. Look, that's not you. Got every medicine. Oh, you're a cute girl. Got to keep the mirrors clean. You gotta get that synergy going. She's about to get on stage. Put that hood on, she turned into a whole different person. That intro is crazy. Fire. Hey. You sons. Just gonna cut it off right before it get good, huh? Good thing I already did a reaction to it. Everybody was so happy watching it. Well, yes, Tay. That's your music helps people. Okay. You didn't make a better record. I like what she did there. No, I'm making I'm making a better record. She's determined. They pissed her off. She doesn't care. She's checked out. She's basically saying, they don't like my music. It's not good enough. I'm about to get back in the lab and I'm going to prove to them that I can make a good record. I respect it. Because you can take that mentality with life in general. Oh, that ain't good enough? Okay. Don't even get mad. Just right back to work. I like all this little behind the scenes of how they make a record. I like the build up before the final product is done. I like all this getting the riffs, getting the runs, the vocals laid over each other. I like the process of making a song. So, this is dope to see. Hey. Uh -huh. She made a hit. Holy shit. The wife's watching this with me also. She's over there. We're becoming Twifties together. <laughs> That's our mom. She's a coffee drinker. I'm not, but she's a cat person. There's so much clearly going into putting Seems like it. Cat person. Yes, you are. Everybody in music has their own sort of niche specialty thing that they do. Facts. That, you know, sets them apart from everybody else. She's a hell of a writer. I give her that. I only done like 20 some songs. She said she wrote 150 songs before she started, I think. This is a song I wrote yesterday, and it's about a girl who's just different. And Young Tay look like older Tay. It's just so happy. So this is called Lucky You. I have to be honest with you, this song was seriously finished five minutes ago. <laughs> so, you know, I usually have these things memorized, but... 2003, I was in high school. Good Lord. Ago. So, I started playing guitar and wrote a couple songs, and I've written 150 songs and written every song See? on this album. So, Told you. I see this somewhere. She said she wrote 150 songs. Said the way my blue eyes shine. 
She was like country, country early. A 16-year-old girl released her debut country music album and dreamed of making it big. Well, today, that girl is as big as it gets. In the yes, ma'am. True. I like what she said, though. She's like, oh, this is cool, but now I got to figure out how to sustain this greatness. Getting back to work. She's not trying to be here for a short amount of time. Hits is why she's still here. Because she works hard. She's never satisfied. That's her first award, huh? She, oh, now they're just racking them up. Nineteen. Oh yeah, dear John, that's a crazy. Yeah. I always dreamed about what it would be like to maybe win one of these someday, but I never actually thought that would happen. Look at Pink with the hairstyle. Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. That's a wild dude. <laughs> Look at Beyonce. <laughs> She like not right now. Uh, Taylor's only what nineteen. She don't know what is going on right now. I, I was standing on stage and I was really excited because I had just won the award, and then I was really excited because Kanye West was on the stage, and then I um, then I wasn't so excited anymore. Yeah, you got awkward quick, dog. It was weird. Kanye, wild well, dude. Are there any hard feelings towards him? I don't know him, and I've never met him, so... So were you a fan before? Yeah. It's Kanye West. Yeah, before. It was so echoey in there. So it's like, are they booing Beyonce? Are they booing Kanye? I thought that they were booing me. It's just, it's weird. It's everybody's... system ...on getting people to clap for you. The whole crowd booing is a pretty formative experience yeah it sucks four years later oh, I remember this song I reacted to this one I remember her talking about the scarf that was like sort of a catalyst for a lot of psychological paths that I went down and not all of them were beneficial that work ethic like thank god I had that work ethic like I can't change what's going to happen to me, but I can control what I write. True that. Look at this. It all seems so simple. Look at the crowd. 25. I remember. I really just went to this place where I was like, I'm going to prove myself. I remember this reaction. Sure video ID. It was a good concert. Good show. Uh oh. That's crazy. Jeez. That's why Drake said he don't drop the same week as Taylor. He said, I will wait. Smart man. That's the song she did with, uh, oh boy. Harry Styles? Yes, her eyes are like super blue. That was, that was it. My life had never been better. And I remember thinking afterward, that's our producer. Oh my I think god, so. that was all you wanted. Oh god, that was all you wanted. That was all you focused on. You get to the mountaintop and you look around and you're like, oh god, what now? I want to thank the fans. She got a Grammy for 1989. I definitely need to react to that album. I didn't have a partner that I climbed it with that I could like high five. I didn't have anyone I could talk to who could relate to what I was, what, what it, you know? You got Trav now. A Grammy and a Super Bowl. Should That's I, what I'm saying. They can relate to each other. Shouldn't I have someone he, to call right now? He's on the way. He's on the way. I didn't ever eat burritos until like 
two years ago. <laughs> I had never tried, I just had never tried one. That's the weirdest what? niche thing. Yeah. Is she about to DoorDash? Mm -hmm. I know Taylor didn't DoorDash. She must have like called her security or they got curtains in the car? What kind of <laughs> look at the private jet? She got cancer several years ago. That has been really hard for me because she's my favorite person. You gotta be able to really prioritize what matters to you. For me, it's my family and my friends. Little well, sizzle sizzle. To be best friends with no, that's fine. Taylor that's Swift fine. has to be crazy. Just so you know, this is what it is. You feed them, you change them, they sleep. Yeah. You feed them, <laughs> you change them, they sleep, you feed them. Yep. Like, that's true. And I was like, so it's like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's laughing at no, that. Because I don't even know what the time I got you. The little things, the little, um, it's like a keychain. Oh, I got you. Back we had back in the day, you got to keep alive or whatever, feed it. Yes. Jesus Christ. Okay, now it makes sense. I wasn't going to laugh at something I didn't know. I'm not just. So this is my front yard and I'm highly aware of the fact that that is not normal. That's I've crazy. over the years. What is that? It's not. Good for like, a like I looked like my tummy was too big or or like someone said that I looked pregnant or something and that'll just trigger me to just starve. Nah, bro. I thought that I was just like supposed to feel like I was going to pass out at the end of a show or in the middle of it. No. I thought, do all these shows and not feel it. Yeah, forget what the people talking about. Really good revelation. People say that about two. Size six. Like she gained weight. Size double zero. Who cares? I mean, that that wasn't how my mom guys like a little more meat. Okay, yeah, would you understand that? I'm it's fine. Really Always some standard of beauty that you're not meeting. Because if you're thin enough, then you don't have that ass that everybody wants. Exactly. But if you have enough weight on you to have an ass, then your stomach isn't flat enough. Exactly. <laughs> it's all just she got it. <laughs> She knows. Impossible. That's my struggle. Jesus Christ, my wife. <laughs> this. And like, I caught myself yesterday to start to do it, and I was like, nope, we don't do that anymore. We do not do that anymore because it's better to look, to think you look fat than to look sick. And we don't do that anymore. And you just, we're just, ch we're changing the channel in our brain, and we're not, we're not doing that anymore. That didn't end us up in a good place. I like it. We got trapped now, you know we're about it. As your career goes like this, the magnifying glass goes like that. Wait for the next doc when Trav is on it. Take some of this pressure off of her. What? Here we go. It's always gonna be hell. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I'm not gonna walk home with any men tonight. Dang, I like it, Tate. Disrespect. Won't talk to that lady again. Ever. Oh, this dude. Oh, that's the uh, what's the name? He's a, he's childish. The story that she was so insulted exactly. by that one line. I think she saw an opportunity to be yeah. victimized oh. here, and she thought these people really don't like Taylor, bro. Wow. wow, they going in. They going in on Kanye. West concert. Yeah, these are all the tabloids saying about Taylor. I decided I was wicked and evil and conniving and not a good person. That was the one that I couldn't really bounce back from because my whole life was centered around it. Well, they gotta knock you. They they got. They ain't got nothing else to say, so they, they got to make up something. Hashtag Taylor Swift is over party was the number one trend on Twitter worldwide. 
Do you know how many people have to be tweeting that they hate you for that to happen? Uh, like, I'm just tired of the. Just. They didn't send my dog over the edge. It just feels like it's more than music now at this point. And just most days I'm like, okay, it just gets loud sometimes. When people fall out of love with you, there's nothing you can do to make them change their mind. They just don't love you anymore. Nobody physically saw me for a year. Well, you know when you talk about Kanye, she gonna come back and go crazy on the album. So they about to wake her up and piss her off. That's why these last few albums, everybody enjoys. I also was falling in love with someone who had a really wonderfully normal, balanced, grounded life. Oh uh, shh. And we decided together that. We wanted our relationship to be private. Interesting. Do we know who the guy is or? Can I have it again? Yeah. In the middle of the night, in my dreams. I'm trying to go on my party shoes. What in the world? Tell I know you got them on those sketches. Tay, I love you, but I'm taking the damn sketches off. Ooh. He cold, too. And, and you, you're in the motel bar. Or like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the getaway car, left you in the motel bar, took the money. Mo took the money in the bag, and I stole the money. Took the, the money in the bag, and I stole the keys. That was the last time you ever saw me. I mean, <laughs> that was the last time you ever saw me. Driving the getaway car, we were flying, but we never get far. That was fire. Did she get to perform in crowds like this, dog? What are we doing? You so what? Oh yeah, my wife's very close purple, so. In the purple smoke, she run the trap. I, I keep trying to put Trav in here, and I know he's not. Oh, that's dude. <laughs> They're about to lose their mind. Mm-hmm. Like, like your Beyonce people, when they see her. Be a witness for something special, Miss Taylor Swift. Oh my God! Uh, I'm gonna ask Miss Maybell Marciano. Uh, what? He's a savage. <laughs> In front of Tay, you slick, sly son of a! Wow. I ain't mad at you. Oh my God! That's <laughs> a little bit. Oh, Panic at the Disco, dude. Another like me, he, he. Oh, man. Like, I just want like little kids to be like, there's no one like me. Like, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's like the, exactly. My wife is from Detroit. So we talked about getting a place to test it out. But then fans found it and I had to leave. Oh, um, would they would they just wait outside? They would jump the gate and like try to open our. Oh, shit. Yeah. I had a crazy dude break into my apartment and sleep in my bed a couple months oh, ago. What? Like it. What the? Well, you can have that apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you're even sick. That's amazing. <laughs> there are stars next to your your lines. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. Sick. Oh my god. This is cold. This is I like the process of making a song. I know I just said it like thirty times, but I like all of this behind the scenes. Fire. Like I'm, and I'm also really so excited that you're down to do like a massive video. Oh yeah, because <laughs> it's not gonna be a small one. Um, I ain't even done that video. I, that backpack uh, got something in it. Her cat. Oh, I was like, what in the world is that? That's kind of dope. Oh hell, <laughs> Jesus! I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, boy. She get... and then I seen the, the cat, and I was like, well. I never seen no backpack like that. That's because we ain't got that kind of backpack money. <laughs> I know the left calls me a wing nut or a knuckle dragging conservative. <laughs> in the no world? Girl. Bring it on. Part of the fabric of being a tried to get mm -hmm. your politics on. At a young age, she was she was trained right. She's like, nah, let me just stick to what I do. 
that racy magazine cover on the stands today pretty much sums up some of the names the Dixie Chicks are being called in America these days. Traitors, the Dixie Sluts, anti-American. All because of one split-second comment aimed at President Bush right before the war with Iraq. Don't be like the Dixie Chicks. And I loved the Dixie Chicks. That's crazy. But a nice girl doesn't force their opinions on people. A nice girl smiles and waves and says thank you. A nice girl doesn't make people feel uncomfortable. David Letterman? It's my right to vote, but it's not my right to tell other people what to do. Right there, right there, sister. <laughs> I was so obsessed with not getting in trouble. I, I was like, I'm just not going to do anything that anyone could say anything about. That's crazy. Well, do what you gotta do, Tay. It is what it is. They already don't like you, so. I think I did react to this song, too. I'm so, I'm so sick of running as fast as I can. Maybe it's like, I'm so sick of running. Oh, yeah, that's the man thing, ain't it? Get much further, or, I'm the man? If I was the man. If I was the man. This is so fun to write. It's fun to watch y'all make magic. Fire. Taylor Swift said she goes to court today against a former radio DJ she says once groped her. Swift says this picture shows the moment Mueller inappropriately grabbed her, putting the his hand of her skirt. It's a wild dude. This happened to me. We told his boss. They did an investigation. He got fired. Then he sued me for millions of dollars. What? So I countersued for one dollar. Oh, shit. I was angry that I had to be there. I was right. angry that this happens to women. That's crazy. I was angry that people are paid to antagonize victims. I was angry that all the details had been twisted. Which makes sense of the song. You don't feel a sense of any victory when you win because the process is so dehumanizing. So, um, I just wanted to... You sweat. I just kind of looking back, um, this exact day, a year ago, um, I was, uh, I was not playing a sold out stadium in Tampa. I was, I was in a courtroom in Denver, Colorado. Um, honestly, I, I was there for a sexual assault case and this day a year ago was the day that, um, uh, the day that the jury sided in my favor and said that they believed me. Good for you. I guess I just think about all the people that weren't believed and the people who haven't been believed or the people who are afraid to speak up because they think they won't be believed. And... And I just, I just wanted to say that, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry to anyone who ever wasn't believed because I don't know how, what turn my life would have taken if somebody, if people didn't believe me when I said that something had happened to me. Crowd is singing every lyric. But everybody else is dry, so I'm assuming this is just an effect for the song. I'm so proud of Thanks. you for taking this shit bag of shit they gave you. I'm really proud. I'm really proud. Thanks. Saying right now that this is something that I know is right, and you guys 
I need to be on the right side of history, Taylor, and if he Taylor, doesn't win, then at least I, I, at least I tried. Taylor, it really is a big deal. She votes against, against fair pay for women. She votes against the reauthorization of the of the Violence Against Women Act, which is just basically protecting us from domestic abuse and stalking, stalking. She votes. She thinks that that if you're a gay couple, or even if you look like a gay couple, you should be allowed to be kicked out of a restaurant. It's really basic human rights and it's right and wrong at this okay i'm not gonna lie i'm a little nervous you should be who's this i want to do this okay so okay there we go to bring up this is tree everything that we need to expect no yeah. one president can come after you yeah fuck that i don't care if i stand out for us for saying don't put a homophobic racist in office then I get bad press for that. I really I, I don't care. I've that a thousand times. Me too. Yeah. Is she going to tweet it? I mean, or what? How she do this? Guys. <laughs> 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 I haven't been standing up for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a tweet she had in her draft. Send. Oh my god. Oh, it's so scary. This is the picture. One, two, two three. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What is happening, dog? <laughs> oh, everybody's nervous. Let's say that I like Taylor's music about 25% less now, okay? This is so out of the norm for Taylor Swift, who until Republicans now, for years have thought that Taylor Swift was a crypto conservative and she just... It's didn't. a risky move for an entertainer to step into politics at her age, at her stage in her Vote.org on Monday, nationwide, there have been 51,308 new registrations in the past... <laughs> mm. I really hope it actually, actually does something. But you know what? Donald Trump likes my music 25% less. <laughs> I feel 200 pounds lighter. I just feel like a, I just feel, I've been feeling this way for months. Chris Hilton just posted, note how Republicans are attacking Taylor Swift's intelligence instead of her ideas. They don't respect women enough to debate them. It's not not true. <laughs> <laughs> What are you getting ready for? What's this? What's going on here? She shy? Oh my god, I am You know what? This is going to sound really ridiculous, but I can't move oh, past her. <laughs> Stupid. Trap, come get your girl. DMAs, what's going on? American Muse, I told you. Just had a feeling it was a musical work. All the people yelling, look to your right, look to your left, look straight, look back. I just wanted to make a, a mention of the fact that this award and every single award given out tonight were voted on by the people. And you know what else is voted on by the people? Get out and vote. I love you. Look at Tay still using her platform. This is what you don't see a lot of. How they make music videos. You look like I have a mean face sometimes, and I'm not trying to. Do you know what I mean? Um, let me try help you guys out. So, um, yeah, I have a really slappable face. I like Taylor's personality as a person. She looks tense right now. Is that on purpose? You know, we call this. This is last rhino of the stampede up here. Just <laughs> it's a lot to process because we do exist in this society where women in entertainment are discarded in an elephant graveyard by the time they're 35. Everyone's a shiny new toy for like 
two years. Jeez. She was ripping clothes off from the beginning. I didn't know what was going on early. She'd been ripping clothes off. The female artists that I know of have reinvented themselves 20 times more than the male artists. This is true. They have to, or else you're out of a job. Constantly having to reinvent, constantly finding new facets of yourself that people find to be shiny. Be new to us, be young to us, but only in a new way and only the way we want. Right. And reinvent yourself way that we find to be equally comforting but also a challenge for you which is crazy like what y'all hear y'all say you're asking me to do something that's definitely impossible this is probably one of my last opportunities as an artist to grasp onto that kind of success so i don't know like as i'm reaching 30 i'm like i want to work really hard um while society is still tolerating me being successful I have another result coming in it's coming in from the senate marsha blackburn we were just talking about that marsha blackburn will win the senate seat the bredesen camp was very much hoping for the swift lift as they called it because young voter turnout spiked here by sevenfold from the previous midterm election and yet that wasn't enough i guess tay tay didn't have that much sway sway childish i call it tay tay I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. She gets to be Protective the first measures with female senator in Tennessee, and she's a, she's Trump in a wig. The first verse, I want to be all about, like, hearing the news. You know, if you were, like, a kid who, like, loved Beto and thought that was the future of Texas, mm. or you really thought Stacey Abrams was going to win, and you went door to door, and you were trying to make it happen, and then she still gets beat. It didn't happen, yeah. And it just didn't happen. But it's like, statistically, you know, we have what, three to four million people turning 18 in the next two years before the next one. So yeah. it's like, it's basically saying like, don't lose hope, don't mm -hmm. get. Yeah, your time will come if you just hang in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's dude. Whatever his name is, he codes. Called only the young. Hey, that beat is crazy. She code. That's basically saying like resist. If you can just shift the power in your direction by being bold enough, then it won't be like this forever. She yeah. texts like my wife. Have a partial verse. Yeah. Yeah. One finger. Cause she writing in, she kind of like freestyling too at the same yeah. time. So she just I'm like, what she got? What she rocking? What kind of shoes she rocking? I feel like when she gets in the studio with that dude, they kind of like shut off from the rest of the world and just kind of stay in there and figure it out. Oh, this is the video. I, I just did the video not too long ago. I've learned a lot before I spoke to 200 million people. I really need your mentor, Penny. I really need your mentor. I'm really done. Because Katy Perry's in this. Do you have anything I can help with? I think we should like, really keep talking about it because, like, we really do need people to put the pressure on all those senators who pass the Equality Act. Then it's like if they are forced to vote on it and then they do vote against it publicly, then it's really just then we have their numbers. Right. You know, for next year. I want to love glitter and also stand up for the double standards that exist in our society. I want to wear pink and tell you how I feel about politics. And I don't think that those things have to cancel each other out. I'll tell you there's one else. Who is this? I didn't see his time. This is one of my favorite mannings I've ever gotten. I appreciate it. Give me a good review on Yelp. I will. And the VMA goes to... Taylor Swift, your music calm down. Into this video, there was a petition, and there's still. Oh, look at Beyonce from the video. For the Equality Act, which basically just says we all deserve equal rights under the law. I want to thank everyone who signed that petition because it now has 
half a million signatures, which, which is five times the amount that it would need to warrant a response from the White House. Say it, Savage. I'm trying to be as educated as possible on how to respect people, on how to deprogram the misogyny in my own brain. Toss it out, reject it, and resist it. Like, there is no such thing as a slut. There is no such thing as a bitch. There is no such thing as someone who's bossy. There's just a boss. We don't want to be condemned for being multifaceted. Sorry, that was a real soapbox. <laughs> Why did I say sorry? <gasps> You're just it's, no, it's because we're trained to say sorry. Yeah, we <laughs> legitimately we are. are. We're like, sorry, was I loud in my own house that I bought with the songs that I wrote about my own life? Look at her everywhere. Fun fact about New York, it's not as big as you think, people. My wife told me that. I don't necessarily know that. But. There's nothing that feels better than this moment. Oh what is her album? Oh. 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 It's all in right now. This is so cool. Can we post to Taylor? Someone? No one is this good and works harder. And if you're that good, usually you don't work that hard. I love you guys. Oh. After 13 years of constantly feeling like I was misunderstood, knowing that everything that happened was all going to turn into this moment is fucking awesome. <laughs> You know, there's this thing people say about celebrities that they're frozen at the age they got famous. And that's kind of what happened to me. I had a lot of growing up to do, just trying to catch up to 29. Just gonna go have fun. This lifestyle is crazy. The audience actively hates me. Not get dead face. Look at Tate. May 19th, 2003. Oh, I tried to practice my songs, but I completely psyched myself out and broke down crying. I don't know if I can do this. I want it so bad, but I get so scared of what might happen. Relax, I can handle it. I'm young, I'm talented, they'll see it in me. I've got to hang on. Security like, don't squeeze too hard. Look at the crowd. I want to still have a sharp pen and a thin skin and an open heart. I liked it. It was good. What you think? <laughs> a lot of stuff I didn't know about her, but yeah, I like it. Especially the uh, behind the scenes stuff with the album. That was pretty good. It's real informative and how she's using her platform now. Stand up for what she believes in. And yeah, uh, I'm a Swifty, so whatever. I'm in now. I'm all the way in. This was dope. Appreciate Amanda for sending me this. So, hope y'all enjoyed it, because I did. <laughs>